No! I just saw a plane go by. And oh, I quickly took the SD card out of my phone, put it in my camera. But, you know, things only go right in life. Things all, don't always go right in life. Things in life. <laughs> things seemingly never seem to go right in life 100% of the time. Nice. Not even original quote by <laughs> the metric, but it's my quote. And I have to say, like, God motherfucking damn. I have to say, my, my first experience, I just finished meditating on the Medito app. And I've been meditating for a while now, over eight months. And that is on a particularly consistent basis. I missed quite a few days within this month, but for the most part, 80 to 90% of the time, I'm usually meditating at least 15 minutes. In the beginning, it was like 5 minutes, then it was 10, then it was 15 now. It was a slow progression. Then it's going up to 30. So I just finished a 15 minute session. I think I'll do another 15 minute session in order to feel more aligned and balanced with myself because I have to say like when I woke up this morning I was feeling very very hedonistic and there was a lot of hedonistic thoughts in my mind but the suit like the moment I decided hey yeah look at my schedule I'm behind in work I need to try to follow my routine more let me meditate to you know get into the um, thing into the rhythm of working and my work isn't even particularly difficult, it's just particularly time consuming. And when I got into this flow of working, uh, not not working, in the flow of meditating, I could feel the thoughts slowly but surely dissipate, even with temptations still at my door. I have to say like, meditation is one of those tools in which I'm so, so grateful for, considering the fact that it just allows me to be a bit more at peace relaxed and in tune with my surroundings focused also there's like if you meditate in the sun there's like and you let the sun shine in on you there's like a period in which the sun like just seeps into your eyes and like when you wake up when you wake up effectively when you open your eyes again after the meditation session it's like you're in a new world your focus is so much more how do i say this focused your eyesight is so much more focused your mind is so much more focused and also like everything is a bit more like saturated in terms of color which makes everything pop a bit more and everything like how do i say this enjoyable to look at like i could look at my phone turned off and my book and look at my book and i could just be happy looking at my book because like it's just a weird different saturation a weird hue that i've never seen before because of the sun seeping in my eye during meditation and that's one of the things I'm really really grateful for I did have to say like on the video talk app I was using will for 15 minutes I do 15 minute blocks so I can do like four sets of 15 which means give me an hour which like despite me wanting to reach an hour for a while now I just seemingly never got around to doing it but I think today is the day in which I achieved that one hour meditation mark I don't know I don't know what particularly is but it is today's the day i'm just gonna do it i got three more sets i'm about to hit another set after my deep work finishes so two more sets during that and i might be like mm, i already hit 45 minutes for the day so i might as well do another one to get it out as one hour yippee <laughs> i was using will for 15 minutes on the minito app and i have to say that you know i was kind of annoyed by his voice at first i'll be truthfully honest i was extremely annoyed by his voice I thought he was an annoyed bastard. I thought he was just fucking in my ear on my dick 24-7 too much. But then like the, uh, the more time passed, the more I just let it flow. And I felt the negative emotions subside very, very quickly. And the more I was in tune with my breath and in tune with every single part of my body, I just couldn't help but be happy that Will was there. And, like It's a roller coaster of emotions. I went from hating him to being like eh to like being happy I think to kind of wanting him to be there so I didn't feel too lonely while I was meditating thinking about the time where I'm using a timer normally and <laughs> and then I'm meditating there and there's no like ocean noises or nothing 
so it feels quite lonely to meditate like that. I'm thinking about that. Oh my god, look at this, guys. My cat fucked up my plant, and now all the soil is down here. I'm gonna have to hoover this up. It's fine, it was on my task to hoover up anyway. I just wanted to move my tree. Let me just put this on here for now. Sorry, guys. I wanted to move my table so I had some leg room. So I did because it was on the side before, and now I'm having even like this, some leg room. And your boy can breathe. I went from hating him to kind of like wanting him to be there. Zesty, I know. But it obviously, it isn't my intention to be zesty. It's just what I am. Pause. <laughs> I don't know why I'd say it like that. I'm always out of stock as well, so I'm quite happy and grateful for that. That's true. I've got a client on Tuesday tomorrow for boxing, so I'm quite happy about that as well. And I'll probably be pitching guys around while I complete my website today, seeing what I can do something about that. Anyways, I went from hating Will to kind of like being eh, I don't care about Will, focusing on the breath, focusing on the meditation, and kind of wanting Will to come back, thinking about all those times where. I'm meditating it's purely alone it's the sound of nature and the bustling metropolis and na the sound of not necessarily nature but the bustling metropolis over the nature instead of with the Manito app it gives you that sound of nature which I think it just gives you so much more how do I say this just this, this effect of peacefulness you know and then after kind of wanted him to be around felt lonely and then he was here and I was happy I was grateful that he was there and then I was especially grateful, I can't lie to you, when he said you can open your eyes now and it was 14 minutes 57 seconds in the meditation and I didn't open my eyes once and I think I did open it once but by accident to reposition myself and then I rubbed my eye and then like I slightly glistened open my eye but for the most part it wasn't like a full on opening my eye, absorbing my surroundings mid meditation which is what I usually do. Like I had so much temptation and desire to open my eyes and look around and get that high effect you know like how do I say this it's almost hedonistic in a sense just you meditate for one minute you get that high effect and you're like you're cool okay my meditation is done but instead I wanted a more deeper effect for meditation which I knew could be achieved through more minutes of meditation and that meant me closing my eyes for longer and just keep my eyes closed without too much tension of course tension is there but any time I would get the, the temptation, I would just put my hands over my eyes, kind of weird to say, and then like right this, rub my eyes like that, rub my face, so I could take away the focus on yeah, I want to open my eyes and you know get that natural high feeling I get from meditation all the time. So yeah, let me just massage the fat off my face. You know, it's stupid to say, but I'm kind of just um, dis disassociating the focus from yeah I want to get instant pleasure from getting the natural high to yeah I want to just massage my face it's like kind of like delayed gratification versus instant gratification because I kind of know it's already coming like I don't have to chase it so much but my my mind is like hey this is enjoyable let's just chase it and let's just get over and done with you know which is the wrong way to go about it and I think in that small moment, despite it being such a small insignificant moment, it meant for me I could defy myself, I could defy my brain, I could defy my desires, and I could defy the feeling that I got deep within in order to get a feeling greater that I feel would benefit me more. And I think I could apply that into all aspects of life because, you know, one the, the way you do one thing in life is the way you do all things in life, etc. Et you, if you're sloppy, you're impatient, you're quick, the judge, etc. etc. Or you're, you're, how do I say this, you're greedy in one aspect of life, you will probably be greedy in all aspects of life. And it's completely and utterly true, especially with meditation, seeing it as like, you know, a reflection of my life. Jesus Christ, this all really dirty in my room. <laughs> gotta, clean, gotta clean up. This cat's crazy, man. I've got some staples. I got some staples, so my Hoover doesn't pick them up and potentially suck in the staples. Uh, they use the staples anyway. Staples are not infinite. I have a finite amount of staples. I don't got papers to clip up. So. It's good to just keep the one staple. 
I think find it like so satisfying to stay for stuff up. Honestly. And I know I, I never would have got like so happy to stay for some up what for meditation. Because I'd probably still be hyper distracted on my bullshit activities. Like instant gratification, porn, social media, video games, etc. The temptation today was there definitely, like I was finding that inner demon in my head. Ooh, boggy. <laughs> oh gross. Sorry, with the bogies. I don't know if you saw that. I was like here with the bogies and I covered up as fast as I could. If you saw that, and I apologize, but this is a channel cut. I will not crop that out. You guys can see my bogies in 720p, 60fps. <laughs> I, this morning I had like, like I was thinking for the hedonism. I had that temptation in order to, you know, jerk off, watch porn and and then after that, I had the temptation to play video games on the PS4 right there, my monitor right there. And I turned on my computer, thinking to myself, like, yeah, like, I honestly, don't know. I just turned on my computer out, not necessarily habit, but I don't know. I just don't want to turn on my computer. It's stupid. But I had nothing to do with my computer. I'm working on my laptop, so I decided to opt for that instead. This is really pissing me off, by the way. It's just irritating in my eyes. This is sub no purpose. This book as well. Whilst I do want to read this book, admittedly, I think hanging it on my PS4 is more efficient because I want to keep the space clean. So what I can do is just think about meditation, think about recording these videos. in here for now? Nah. This book. I really want to finish the book this entire time because it's, I don't know, I, I would like to see myself as a completionist and I'll make the truth of like my actions so far leading up until like this age so far hasn't really been like me being a completionist. It's more like me being, I'm half asking everything, I'm already doing anything to my best ability. I'm gonna try wait. Seventy-five. It's me just not. I feel like not fulfilling my my destiny a bit by being a loser. on my desk, this is gonna go my camera stand here oh, that's a bit too tall this is the OG setup this is the OG setup where I record the other videos this is where I'm recording these bed personal videos I've had a routine, like a ritual recently that I really like and that is I'm still recording right? yes sir, that is I don't put my pillow here when I don't I don't sleep so if I'm not sleeping this is like my little space for recording my little studio booth put my camera right here 
That's the other space we're recording. Sorry, my chat. My chat has been going through hell. Pause. Zesty looking chair. Um, that's like my space for. I need to use this for the hot glue gun. So I'm gonna keep this for the moment. Hot glue gun, so I can fix my certificate. It's probably my thing. I don't even use this anymore. I can't lie. I know it's got loose. So I don't see the point. It's got like it's loose around here. So. I just put it away. Don't deal with it again. It's my just secondary education. Still forget. I don't care, really care about, and it means nothing. I made a habit of not. I think it was for the last three, four, five days. At most, like five days so far. I made a habit of not putting my pillow here, so I have space to put my back against for meditation. And I have space, like if I want to try to sleep, for example, I'm getting lazy. I'm like, oh shit, I don't have a pillow. I can just kind of get up and get back on with work like so I don't really see my bed as a place for yeah I want to rest anymore I only put the pillow up when it's time to rest which kind of like tells my brain hey yeah it's time to rest it's time to sleep it's time to go to bed but if it isn't on there my brain's like no not time to bed there's no pillow and the pillow is like hidden over here which I use to sit on my I sit my ass on to meditate so I have to sit there's this pillow right here I sit on that to meditate and that is I think one of the smallest things changes that has given me one of the most remarkable results so far so you know small changes remarkable results Atomic Habits by James Clear I finished that book I have to say but it wasn't to me anything revolutionary despite the fact that it was the first self improvement book that I read in Vietnam I read the physical copy in Vietnam in English in some um, in a library and then I went from Vietnam I went to I went to England back again which I despised but then I got back into reading and I started reading Millionaire Fastlane then and I'm reading currently reading Millionaire Fastlane again on my tablet and I have to say I'm blitzing through that book like it's nobody's business like I'm probably gonna reach page 100 by the end of today with how much I'm reading and I don't regret any moment of it it isn't procrastination to me it isn't a lie to me because I know like I do have work to do I completely understand that but it isn't like I'm gonna die if I don't complete that work so I think reading to me takes a top line a top line how do I do this meme <laughs> I just spent all my time reading my notes I still can't read what the hey I'm getting tissue in my room I'm getting tissue in my room not to be sus Get to turn to breathe my nose. You know I don't have tissue in my room, I just go to the bathroom to get it. There is no more degenerate Jimmy. There is only the self improvement Jimmy. I think that <laughs> having an empty kind of like an empty minimalistic minimalistic room is so much better than having a clustered room like even right now with toilet paper and I'm thinking about mm, drug it off mm, and I'm with the vitamins and the water bottle I think it's too much I made a habit of actually putting my water on the ground I think it not only becomes cooler it's out of sight you know and because it's out of sight it's out of mind which gives my mind a bit more time and leeway to focus on things that I feel like actually matter in my life this fucking shit is dirty as well my god I think judging from this video, you could probably tell I'm a bit less angsty, I'm a bit less precautious, I'm a bit less, how do I say this, on edge than I was before. I think with the practice of meditation and with the practice of reading, I could really, and they're not separate by the way, I've got a lot of friends telling me, oh I don't meditate, I read, or I don't read, I meditate, like as if one cancels out each other, and to me this notion is completely, utterly stupid, no offense, no full offense of course, because reading is the pursuit of knowledge, is the pursuit of you trying to change your life. It's one of those things. It's like, yeah, I want to change my life. I'm going to read a book on how to become a millionaire. And I will t uh, think, remember the principles. I'll learn the principles to my heart and I'll become a millionaire. That's reading to me at least. To 
me, meditation is like a form of focusing, relaxing, and clearing the mind a little, or becoming a bit more patient and diligent. There is clear benefits to reading and meditating, and the benefits are completely and utterly different. I guess some of them are similar, but I think that the benefits that are usually taken from the majority of people is usually, usually different. Like reading, you would learn more. Someone who's 60 years old, who's a millionaire, or who's a billionaire, who's written a book about how to be a billionaire, and how they did it, and of course it required luck, it required hard work in the right places, and all the things. You had to identify market trends, and those type of things, right? But that's what reading entails. It entails you acquiring the knowledge of those that are 60, 70, 80, who have lived their entire lives. You learning from their mistakes, you learning from their pains and sufferings, their shortcomings, their failures. You know, smart men learn from their mistakes, wise men learn from the mistakes of others. That's what usually reading, reading entails. You avoid mistakes that a lot of people will other make. That's like when you're in a video game. Like I used to play Warframe, or more before Warframe, it was Sword Burst 2. And in Sword Burst 2 or any other game, any other MMO RPG, for example, if there's a quest you don't complete or there's an item that you want, you don't know the particular way to get it. Like, the best way was to look at the wiki, right? So you could get the information that was valuable to you at the time. And then you can use that information to then execute on. And a lot of people forget it, uh, information that way. They read, 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 read. But they don't really get anywhere. They read Napoleon's Think and Grow Rich. But they only think rich and they don't really grow rich. They think they read the millionaire fast learning with a clickbait title, title, and or the um thing. Yeah, it is. I could say clickbaity title. So my voice is a bit more dying out. They read the millionaire fast lane, and they <laughs> they they think that they were going to going to become rich within a year or within six months, when it isn't usually like that. It's actually, two years and three years. Which is still quite relatively short in order to become rich. And the rich, by rich, I mean like 10, 15, 20,000 pounds a month. Which is quite, quite affluent. And, I don't want to say and so aggressively. And meditation to me is like, yeah, like I said before, focus a thing. It's, it, the benefits are different and people are stupid in a sense. Because they, they think they know it all. With even me with 8 months into meditation... I'm coming on my ninth month. After the end of this month, in a day, you know, in two days, in the beginning of the next month, in June, I am literally finished. Like I'm literally finished with um, nine months worth of meditation, and I could tell you tell you right now that I'm only getting started with the meditation. Three months after, I'm I'm one year, twelve months into meditation, and I could literally tell you like I'm I'm literally a beginner in a couple when it comes to this. And I'm only now feeling as if I re I'm truly reaping the rewards of meditation despite all the short, the highs I get after the meditation practice it's only really now until I'm really like holy shit, I'm, I'm really feeling relaxed and meditating I'm really controlling myself and my emotions and focus and discipline only now, after 8 months basically 9 months of meditation only now am I feeling it that's usually every single day the best of my ability. What the is happening outside? Randoms. This is an interesting topic I need to delve into. You no know, getting out of this. I think um, I might delve into that topic now. Catch you guys in the next video. Was there anything else I should have said? I think I, like, I stopped on a, on a point somewhere and I just never continued on it. It was one of, those, one of, them, one of them videos and I, I, don't, I don't even mind. I think that I think this video is really good and I think I will edit it up and put it on my main channel as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What the? Oh my god. It's, I literally clicked the button. I don't know if you can hear that. I clicked the button but it's still recording.